Hello and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is what you have to pack for Mina. So if you're planning to go for Hajj and you're going to be spending four to five days in Mina camp or basically five to six days in Mina camp, what exactly things you should pack and you should take from your hotel room in Mecca or in Azizia to Mina. So there is a separate video if you want to know what you need to pack for your trip to Makkah for Hajj and Umrah. So there is a separate video for that. But this video is particularly that what you need to pack for the things when you are going to Mina. Because in Mina, you won't be taking all of your stuff. You will leave your major stuff, be your big bag in your hotel room in Azizia or in Makkah. And then you will be only taking smaller bag in Mina. So let's have a quick look at what things you need. Uh, so in Mina, you're going to be staying from basically 8th Zilhaj till 12th or 13th Zilhaj. Why 12th or 13th? Basically, till 12th, everyone has to stay and on 12th, you need to do Rami and after that, you, you can go back to your hotel. But if uh, you want you can stay on 13th as well or some as per some scholars if on 12th you are not able to leave Mina before the Maghrib time you have to stay on 13th as well and do uh, another day of Rami so basically in Mina you're going to be spending five to six days on the right side this is a generic map and there are lots of videos what you have to do in Mina what you have to do on each day of Hajj and about that and you can check my playlist or uh, look at in the comments as well so already when you go for Mina, you will be going in the state of Ahram. So already your travel guide or uh, Mualim, whoever is taking you will already tell you that X time uh, we're going to be going towards Mina and be prepared for that. So you're going to already change in the state of Ahram for females as well. And for males specifically, the two white sheets they're going to wear and they will do the Nia within their hotel and they will already be in the state uh, of Ahram. So this is for Hajj Tamattu and for the people who are going to be doing Hajj Ifrad or Hajj uh, Kiram, they will already be in the state of Ahram because they would not have taken the Ahram off after the Umrah. If you don't know what are the different types of Hajj, Check my videos and there, uh, there is a guide. But most, most of the people who are going from Pakistan, India, UK, Australia, US, they're going to be doing Hajj uh, Tamato. And in that state, before going to Mina, you will come, you will wear a ram and then go to Mina. Now, what you need to take along with you to the Mina camp or to Mina, number one, get an at least one spare ihram why i'm saying that so for females the ihram is any any clothes it's not supposed to be white it can be any colored clothes which they want so they need to cover themselves so get a spare uh, a cloth set and for male as well get a spare ihram why i'm say, saying that god forbid you go to washroom and you you make your ihram napak for any reason then at least you have a spare one that you can change instead that you wash it and wear the the wet ihram it's better that you have at least one spare one and because ihram will have usually two sheets if the top one gets dirty just change the top one if the bottom one gets dirty uh, change the bottom one so at least get one spare ihram and you can uh, keep that or even if you want to take you can take two of them and keep one in mina and when you're going to be going to arafat or uh, uh, muslim then take one ihram with you over there as well so uh, you can do like that the second thing you need is a spare ihram slipper why i'm saying ihram slipper there's nothing like an ihram slipper but just to emphasize the point that as per the scholar whoever you follow or to a school of thought which you follow majority of the scholars say that you can wear only flip-flops or the other would recommend different kinds of slippers and there is a separate video about this as well you can check it what kind of slippers or you can wear during a ram uh, but without going to that discussion for this is particularly for male so get a spare piece so if you have a flip-flop and for any reason because you're going to be walking a lot you will be walking more than 15 20 kilometers on these two three days if that breaks then you would have a spare a uh, slipper that you can replace that so that's why i'm suggesting get a spare pack for females there is no restriction of shoes they can wear any kind of shoes full closed or any slipper so no restriction like that for males that's why i'm saying especially for flip-flop because flip-flop are usually quite this is flip-flop and they are quite weak and gentle so they usually uh, get broken quite easily if it's not of a good quality so that's why get a spare one 
The third thing is umbrella. So most of these things are the same, which I have recommended in my earlier uh, video, which is 40 things you need to take for Hajj. Most of the things are similar, but the, uh, this is a reduced list because not you don't need to take everything in Mina with you. The next thing is soap because you will be in the state of Haram. So here you need the unscented soap uh, in the washrooms or facilities. They are sometimes uh, soap over there but maybe it's scented or maybe it's it get finished because there are millions of people over there so that's why get your spare and especially when you're going to be taking a bath if you plan to uh, it's better to get your own soap so you can get a, a proper like a soap bar or you can even get a, like a body wash or something but unscented one there are easily available in uk australia uh, in in these kind of countries european countries because people have skin allergies and those kind of stuff so you can easily find them unscented one but if you can't in pakistan or those maybe in the medical shops or you need to search a bit but these are like easily find dove brand is everywhere and you can see sensitive skin unscented mentioned number five number five is prayer mat i've crossed this one in this one um the reason being don't get and take this plain mat one because this is like a sheet like a uh, a parachute kind of a sheet which is a jaina mask but in uh, Mina in Arafat in Musdalfa, it's better that you have a proper kind of a Jainamas, which is kind of a thin carpet like which you usually have. So get that one, and because that the main thing you're going to be using quite regularly over there. You won't be going to a mosque when you are in Mina or in Arafat. So that's why you get your own prayer mat so that you are, will be praying for five, six days over there. Get a proper prayer mat. The next thing is the sleeping mat. So sleeping mat. Um, again, you're going to be spending one night in uh, Musdalfa. If you don't know the steps of Hajj, I have each day guide as well and a quick guide as well. What are the things which you're going to be doing for Hajj and also detail what uh, each day separate video as well available in my playlist. And you can check my videos where I've explained the Hajj process. And in that, in, uh, in Musdalfa, you're going to be spending one night over there. And if you have a VVIP camp or VVIP category, then you will be provided carpets or maybe some of them are even provided mattresses and it's open air. Everyone sleeps open air. No one gets a camp over there. But if you are a normal, even if you're category A, category B, in some cases, category A as well, C or D, you won't be getting anything. So sometimes Mollim, which is the basically guide who takes you as a group, they might provide you uh, a mat like this, but in some cases, nothing is being provided. So category C and D usually don't get anything. Category B usually get them, but check with your tour operator or Nusuk or with Mollim that if they're going to be providing, otherwise you can take it from your home country or you can buy it from Makkah or Medina as well. So get a sleeping mat because you're going to be spending at least five to six hours outside. The next one is a Quran. I recommend that because you we have the mobile so many people can use the mobile to read the quran or ayat so if you are comfortable with that well and good if you not are not like that and you prefer a paper copy of quran so get a small uh, copy and that would be useful don't get too small if you have eye problem uh, but get uh, get one for your journey as well inshallah it will be helpful the next thing is sunscreen sunscreen again it will be burning hot if you're going for hajj in this season it's going to be hot it's going to be warm uh, 40 plus degree celsius and you're going to be spending lots of time outside so that's why i recommend get a uh, sunscreen and get fragrance free because that's the thing you will be spending more three days you will be in the state of Aram and in Aram state you cannot have any perfume or uh, or fragrance uh, on your body so that's why I get a fragrance free and there are lots of brands local brands as well Lidl LD have their own brands as well which are fragrance free and you can get it quite cheap the next thing, number nine, is miswak or uh, uh, brush. So if you are comfortable with miswak, it's a sunnah, and that's the best option. If you are not, um, and maybe you you, you you don't find a miswak that much uh, easy to use, get a brush. Uh, again, depends on the scholar which you follow. Some will say just use a plain brush during the days of haram. Outside the days of haram, you can use a toothpaste as well. So get a toothpaste for outside the days of haram. But within the days of haram, either use a plain toothbrush or get a toothpaste which is fragrance free or mint free which is very or uh, like um, uh, any taste uh, not taste basically but fragrance because usually they have got a lot of content of mint and in that regards what i found uh, which i showed in my packing of 
uh, Hajj preparation that there is a toothpaste for kids which is fragrance and taste free and in that what I sense or smell is that there is no mint but if you think there is mint depending on the scholar which you follow ask them what to do or use the plain brush the next thing is a ram belt so you already would have the ram belt but again to emphasize if you're watching this that of course because you will be in the state of Aram, get a ram get a ram belt and this is what i recommend in my earlier video as well because this is quite good uh, i'm not being sponsored by a hud safe but i found it that there is a wire as well because you're going to be keeping your money your mobile your all of the important stuff with you so it's better to be safe and that's why it, i found it to be a good ram belt the next thing is basically the dua book so this is again if you think that you need to remember dua i'm not recommending these books i don't know what is inside i just google it and these two came and but i've seen this one quite available in most of the shops this one i'm not really seen anywhere here in uk but this one is quite if you think you need the duas get a uh, dua book otherwise uh, as I said, if you have, uh, there is a separate video from me which says that with duas you're going to be reading. You don't really need to know any particular duas. Most of the duas are quite common and you will know already and you can read anything. That's the thing about Hajj. Hajj is more physical effort than basically uh, any particular Arabic uh, duas. So instead, if you don't know, you can read anything. But in general, it's uh, basically talbiya, which is the most important, which is labak, Allahumma labak, labak, la sharika laka labak, in alhamda, wa name ata laka wal mulk, la sharika laka. So this is the most fundamental thing which you need to know. Other than that, they are optional like Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatam wa fi la akhirati hasanatam wa kina azaba naad. Most of us read that in prayer, so we already know. And tisra kalma. So look at uh, my video where I have mentioned the duas were to read when you pass by uh, Hajj Aswad, you can just say even Allahu Akbar and also when you are doing the palating Rami, you need to say Allahu Akbar. Re other than that, it's optional, all the duas, and, but if you want, you can take a book. It's up to you. The next thing is the shoes. Uh, why I'm recommending the shoes? So females will already have their comfortable wear shoes or slippers which they have brought so they can bring. For males as well, on top of the ihram slippers, which I'm saying, it's not, a, again, apology if you feel uh, offended about the terminology. If the, the reason is that after the 10th of Zulhijjah, when the, you are off the ihram, you get the hulk, you get the haircut, you come out of the state of ihram. And after that, you can wear anything. So if you are not comfortable with flip-flop or whatever you have been wearing during the state of ihram, you can wear any comfortable shoes or slippers or sandal. So that's allowed. So get that because you're going to be still walking a lot because you're going to be doing uh, for the rest of the days in Mina, you're going to be going each day for Rami as well for 11th and 12th. And if you are staying for one more day, 13, so next three days, you're going to be going for Rami. And depending on your camp location, where it is, you're going to be walking a lot because if it's nearby in camp uh, category A or VVIP, you, you are happy, which is al Kabesh camp, you are happy because you need to walk less. But if you are in ca uh, camp B or C or D, you can be walking up to three to four kilometers one way. So almost going there uh, for Rami and coming back, it would be three or four, uh, like total six or like like 10 kilometers it can be so that's why you're going to be walking a lot and walking in uncomfortable sh uh, shoes or basically slippers you can avoid that by getting a comfortable shoes any of the brand which you want the next thing is vaseline vaseline is particularly important for everyone but particularly for males because of two reasons you're going to be wearing flip-flops so maybe you will get some rashes on your foot so use vaseline and also uh, because you're going to be wearing a ram you won't be wearing any undergarment Usually uh, your thighs get hurt and Vaseline helps in relieving the pain of the thighs if they are getting rashed. So that's why people recommend Vaseline and I recommend as well. So get it and take it with you. The next thing is the travel bag, which should have been the number one thing that we, what, what we should pack or in which stuff we should pack. So when you are going to pack, when you have came to uh, for Hajj and you have stayed in a hotel in Makkah or Azizia, you will have a big bag or an, a small bag, a carrying bag. So you need to take in Mina, not the big bag. Don't take the big luggage bag, which is for 30 kilo or 23 kilo. Don't take that with you uh, in Mina camp. Take the smaller bag. So a smaller bag most probably uh, can be your trolley bag or your backpack. What I would recommend, why I'm saying one to two bags, that what I think is the better solution, get, take both the bags in Mina. 
And what you need to do is make sure the stuff will fit hopefully in the trolley bag and keep this uh, backpack within this trolley bag. And when you go from Mina on a ninth, uh, ninth Zulhijjah to Arafat, then take the backpack. Don't take the trolley bag. Don't make the mistake to travel with the trolley bag. So leave the trolley bag in Mina camp because that's your location. You can leave the stuff over there and that's okay. So leave all of the stuff which you don't need um, in Arafat or in Musdalfa, leave that in, in this uh, small trolley bag in, uh, in the Mina and take this backpack to um, Musdalfa and Arafat when you are going. So take the necessity things over there. I will make a separate video what you should be taking out of these things which you have brought with you in Mina, what you should be taking out of these things to Arafat and Musdalfa. I will make that separate video as well. But you will get to know that why, if you have already been watching the videos, you should already know what are the necessity things you should be carrying. But take this bag, the backpack in Musdalfa and Arafat because you're gonna be walking a lot and this is easy to carry rather than this trolley bag. So don't take uh, make the mistake of this. The next thing is glasses. Check with your scholars, first of all, if you are taking any sunglasses, whether you can wear the sunglasses during the Ahram, because there is a conflict again among the scholars or the school of thought that whether this, uh, the, even the glasses are allowed or not, because one thing in Ahram is for sure that males are not allowed to cover their face and head and females are not allowed to cover their face. So if females want to cover their face, uh, like with a hijab or something, they need to wear a, a pea cap and then basically the cloth which is falling on their face should not be touching their face. So it's recommended that they wear the pea cap and on top of that, they basically put the veil. For males, they cannot cover their head uh, and their face. So that's why you can use the umbrella. So umbrella is fine as long as it doesn't touch your head. So umbrella is fine, but otherwise, similarly for sunglasses, whether it's allowed or not, check with your scholar which you follow. But for eyeglasses, because it's a necessity, so it is allowed, you should wear. And two glasses so that if one breaks for, for some reason, you have another one. Cap, so this is again, uh, you can only use the cap for males, particularly only after uh, once you are out of the state of Aram. Don't put or cover your head uh, when you are in state of Aram. Even while sleeping, you are not allowed to cover your face or your head. So do remember that. Caesar. So male won't need the Caesar. So whatever cleaning or something you need to do, you should ha already have done. Most of us would have done um, before coming into the state of Aram from your hotel in Azizi or Makkah, before wearing the Aram for Hajj, you would have cut your nails, cut your hair, whatever uh, grooming is required, your um, unwanted hair. So everything you would already have done. So I don't think so you need to take the Caesar with you uh, to Mina because it would be only five days or six days you're going to be spending. By that time, I don't think so you will need a pair of Caesar, but if you want, yeah, you can take it and use it after the, you are out of Aram. For females, I would recommend because they need to cut their hair after they uh, after doing the Rami basi uh, or hal, uh, basically Kurbani uh, on, uh, on 12th uh, on 10th of Zilhajjah, once they come out of the uh, Aram, before coming out of the Aram, they need to cut their hair uh, almost the size of one inch or one centimeter, it depends, from all around. And usually their husband or uh, or they can ask other females to cut it. So that's why they need to have a pair of scissors with them. The next thing is medicine. Of course, you need to have the medicine. Don't take all the medicines which you have brought with you uh, and take it to Mina. You just need to spend five to six days. So maybe just as a buffer, get seven days medicine with you and the rest, you can leave it in your hotel. Because if you got, are, have gone for like 40 days, you don't need to take all the medicine, 40 days medicine with you in the Mina camp. You just need seven, eight days as a buffer. Otherwise, it's five to six days maximum. So just keeping one or two days extra in case you need it. The other thing is deodorant. So again, it depends. Some people, because uh, as per Sunnah or as per uh, the way it is stated that Allah wa ta likes the hajis which are dirty because of the dust on their head. And so lots of scholars say don't bother about cleaning too much. But that's the thing. It's up to you. Uh, there is nothing wrong as well because it, it is nice if you are caring about others that they don't get impacted by the smell. So it's again up to you. But if you want, you can get a deodorant, unscented one and use it during the Ahram state.
as well. The next thing is neck fan. And this is the most important time you need the neck fan because you're going to be traveling in Arafat. You're going to be traveling in Muzdalfa. You're going to be walking a lot. You're going to be staying outside. Get a neck fan. It's nice. It's cool. It will give you some relief. And this is how it looks. There are two different types. This type of fan I've seen in Home Bargain in UK. I don't know your shop, but you can check Amazon and easily find. You can search, take the image and check it on Amazon or eBay. You can easily find it. Power bank. Uh, why I'm recommending power bank? Because you're going to be on uh, on basically 9th Zul Hijjah, you're going to be traveling to Arafat. You will stay in a camp. But after spending few hours, you're going to go to uh, Muzdalfa and spend the night over there. There won't be any tent. There won't be any electric, like uh, any sockets provided or any accommodation as such. And if you think your mobile is going to be discharged and takes a lot of battery, so get that because the next day is quite hectic and you will be spending almost the whole of the 10th uh, day till evening outside because you're going to be doing uh, Rami, you're going to be traveling from uh, uh, Muzdalfa to uh, for Rami. Then you're going to be uh, getting the doing the Qurbani, then Halk, then taking a bath, and maybe majority of us do the Tawaf Ziyara as well on the same day. Although you can delay, so you will be traveling outside, and most probably your mobile nowadays mobile battery lasts maybe maximum one one day or two days. So that's why. Get a power bank so that you don't have to stay in the room or in the mina camp in order to charge for it. Uh, so better to get a power bank. The next thing is extension cord. Why you need the extension cord? You need the extension cord, but because in mina camp, except for the VVIP or category A, there won't be many of the sockets available. There would be huge camp. There will be a few sockets available, but they might be not for everyone. So it's better that you consider yourself and uh, help for others. Get a socket from here and uh, so that other people can benefit as well. You can put your mobile, other people can put their mobiles or a tablet or whatever they have brought, they can put on charging or maybe neck fan as well. You can charge here. So, and this is kind of a socket which is used in UK. This is to, uh, not UK in, it is UK as well as in Saudi Arab, but I have understood the same socket uh, shape is used in uh, Saudi Arab as well. The next thing is international power adopter. So if you're going from Pakistan or Australia or U, uh, US, so the power, uh, the socket shape is not this one. This is the UK socket. And in that case, you need a uh, power adopter in order to make sure that you can use their sockets as well. So get this power adopter, which is for a, a, every country. And don't this is not a particular brand. I just search it and just put the image, but you can get any brand which you like. The next thing is travel pillow. It's optional, but that's the thing. Uh, there are two pillows which I mentioned, but this one I would recommend that when you're going to be uh, spending the night in Muzdalfa, get a pillow. So in, it's a, it's it's a basically without inflation, it's just uh, flat, and you uh, put the air from mouth in it, and it will be a pillow so that you can have a comfortable few hours. And this is the traveling pillow which actually you don't need in. A mina so don't bring that in mina this is usually for flight but i forgot to take the image out so just uh, get this pillow you don't need the top one to take in mina the next things are white why i i like wipes uh it's up to you it's optional if you want to carry or not because that's the thing there are public washrooms there are many uh, locations where your hand might get dirty so it's better to wipe them out Try to get the wipes uh, which are unscented again and also uh, based on your wipes if you are going to use uh, wipes to maybe wipe the toilet seat or something like that. Make sure that they are disposable, toilet disposable as mentioned here. Only then flush that, uh, flush the, these uh, wipes. If they are not, throw them in the bin. Don't throw them in the flush. Otherwise, you will block the flush and you will create problem for other people because one washroom will be out of order during those days. So don't do that mistake. But wipes are really uh, helpful because if you need to wash your hands, instead, if you have wipes, just wipe them, clean them. Instead, that you're going to go to washroom and do that. The next thing is clothes. So you don't need to bring all the clothes with you uh, to Mina because in Mina, after you come out of the state of Aram, you will be only spending, basically, you come out on 10th and then 11th and 12th and 13th. It's optional that whether you stay. So maybe just get one, one pair of uh, one set of clothes should be good enough or maybe two. 
and also the thing is that you can go back to your hotel as well on on those days and change and come back again but maybe one or two sets of um, clothes you need don't get the complete bag if you are there for 40 days 20 days don't bring all the clothes with you you don't need those the next thing this is optional this is totally optional because nowadays everyone has mobile everyone can take pictures so pen and notebook uh, I don't think so you're gonna need I'm not taking them but it's up to you if you want cash um, you you might need cash or you need to use the card because which is the point number 29 as well so uh, cash you need to check if the Qurbani is already paid if not then you might need cash or you can pay with the card as well so you can check with your travel agent or with via Nusuk if you have booked you might have already booked for Qurbani as well and if you uh, are not sure you can ask the travel agent and they you can pay to them and tour operator and they will do the Qurbani for you so you need cash for them and also because you're going to be traveling and taking taxi from uh, from your camp to uh, for Rami or maybe for uh, Tawaf -e Ziyara as well and maybe you don't like the food over there which is being provided based on your camp and you need to buy it from outside or in many of the cases for ca category uh, Mina camp category C and D um, uh, sometimes the, the I have heard as well that the food gets shortage there is a shortage of food the people who get first take it everything although they have they manage it quite well but still there are three million people over there so it, sometimes it be, becomes a problem or due to any problem you must have cash with you okay keep some cash uh, and again the amount depends if the Qurbani is included or not the thing uh, next thing is the credit card so of course Rather than just keeping cash, get a credit card or get a debit card and it's better for you. So it's up to you one or two credit cards. Eye mask. So again, you cannot cover your face during the state of Aram, but after that, you can use it. And I would recommend because people might be waking up early or maybe in the nighttime, they would like to keep the lights on or how it happens. So maybe get an eye mask so that when you sleep, you have a nice comfortable sleep. The next thing is mask. Again, the uh, state of Aram, you can use mask. Now, previously, when it was COVID, it was recommended and a fatwa was given. So people were using even in the state of Aram. But now, I don't think so you will be allowed to use the mask. But get it if you think you are getting flu after uh, coming out of the state of Aram. Or based on the scholar, you can check with the scholar that if you are feeling sick or someone is feeling sick, can I use the mask or not? And based on that, keep some mask and use them if necessary sanitizer of course you need sanitizer again similarly for wipes you can use sanitizer as well try to get uh, unscented but it's very difficult to get unscented sanitizer because i have not seen so far unscented one but maybe if you can find keep it otherwise for the normal days uh, after coming out of the state of Aram, at least you can use it the next thing is women products so as per women requirement please get your stuff sorted so that you have any necessity i won't go in detail but you will get the idea so these are the 33 things which i think you should be uh, taking with you to mina camp out of these things some of the things you need to take along with you to arafat and Muzdalfa and pack in the small backpack and always try to get a padded backpack there is my separate video where i have uh, shown you what kind of a bag i'm taking which is padded and i'm showing you the benefit of it as well so this is the summary sheet you can take a snapshot you can print it out if you want and actually this is wrong this i have not updated this so forget about that one i'll i'll finish the video over here because that one was actually 40 things but i can tell you that these are the basically uh, no this is correct actually sorry uh, this is correct but this number is wrong so credit card number i don't know why it got uh, these numbers over here but that's the thing uh, other than that i think so everything is correct yeah th this one as well i don't know why th these numbers got wrong but otherwise you get the idea of what things you need to take for Minakem. Hope you like the video. If you like, uh, please do subscribe and share. And if you have any comment, let me know. This is quite similar to the video which I made for the 40 things for Hajj, but this is particularly for Mina. Hope you find it useful. Otherwise, check my other videos relating to Hajj and what you need to get. Thanks for watching. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum.